Seven Wonders of Austria Austria is one of Europe's most popular holiday destinations, attracting tourists year-round with places to visit in both summer and winter. And what's a better way to experience those than to visit the place? So hold on tight and fasten your seatbelt as I take you to a virtual trip to the Seven Wonders of Austria. Welcome to Seven Wonders of a Country series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that provides you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss the gem of Austria. Number 7. Ice Rissenberg Ice Cave Found within the Hochkugel Mountain in Werfen, Austria, the spectacular Ice Rissenberg is the largest system of ice caves not only in Austria, but the entire world. Ice Riesenfeld is a German word that means World of the Ice Giants. It is a limestone and ice cave labyrinth extending a length of 42 kilometers. The caves were carved by the Tsatsa underground river as it flowed through the mountain eroding passageways nearly 100 million years ago. It was only discovered in 1879 and opened to the public in 1902. Although 42 kilometers of the network has been explored, only the first kilometer is allowed to be visited by the tourists. As you take the stone steps leading to the ice stool or ice gate, you will be mesmerized by a spectacular 1,775 meter high wall of ice and the Great Ice Palace. After winding along the Great Ice Wall, you will be confronted by the massive Heimir Hall with its impressive ice formations and icicles. Number 6. Hallstatt It is an unbelievably spectacular place and undoubtedly one of the most picturesque small towns in Austria. Only in Hallstatt that you will discover the truly unique culture with such a history all in a breathtaking mountain setting. Hallstatt has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1997, with the bright reds and yellows exhibiting the Austrian town's 16th century architecture. In spring and summer, you will see flower boxes, drape windows in geraniums and ivy and cobblestone streets connecting cafes, ornate churches and alpine inns. Just like a fairy tale! Natural wonders also await you around the corner. You can visit the underground Salt Lake and the nearby Horner Work Cavern or explore one of Europe's most impressive cavern network, the Dachstein Caves. And you don't want to miss the superb Five Fingers viewing platform that hangs over a 400 meter sheer drop, giving you excellent views of the surrounding Alps. Number 5. Mel Benedictine Abbey It is one of the world's most famous monastic sites that sits on a steep hill overlooking the town of Milk, a Danube river town in Austria. Benedictine Abbey was founded in 1098, and Milk has been a cultural and spiritual center of Austria ever since. Its spectacular buildings are laid out around seven courtyards. The most prominent part of this massive 325-meter-long complex is the West End, where you will see the twin-towered church rising above a semicircular terrace range. The abbey also has stunning lookout points, incredible architecture, and some rather shocking surprises that make it well worth a visit. The superb 196-meter-long imperial corridor exhibits the portraits of Austria's rulers, including one of Empress Maria Theresa. Meanwhile, the imperial rooms display statues, paintings, and other artifacts relating to the abbey's history. Amazingly, one imperial room exhibits a book circa 1574, a portable altar from the 11th century and jewel-encrusted religious ornaments. Number 4. Kitzbühel It is one of the best places to ski in Austria. Spoiling snow lovers with its 170 kilometers of skiable pistes and slopes. Kitzbühel is the site of the annual Hanenkamm, the toughest of all downhill runs of the World Cup ski race, and the home of the legend Tony Sailor, 
one of the best in the sport. Kitzbühel has also plenty of terrain for all skill levels in its three skiing areas, the smallest of which is dedicated to free riders. There are also little mountain huts where you can enjoy traditional alpine snacks and warming drinks. Kitzbühel is not just for skiers. With its heavily buttressed walls and frescoed houses and the snow-covered Alps for a backdrop, you will experience the feels of a pretty alpine village. In the summer, the town is even more beautiful, with mountains flushed with green and medieval streets and buildings giving off a relaxing atmosphere. Number 3. Hofburg Palace Vienna's Imperial Palace was for centuries the seat of the Habsburg, rulers of Austria until the end of World War I. The palace complex is one of the largest in the world, occupying an area of some 59 acres and is a city within a city, comprising 18 groups of buildings, 19 courtyards, and 2,600 groups. The major buildings reflect more than 700 years of architectural history. Nearly every Austrian ruler since 1275 ordered additions or alterations. As a result, the Hofburg shows many different architectural styles, from Gothic to Renaissance, Baroque to Rocco, and a smattering of Classicism. The area around the Hofburg also houses several other attractions, including the Imperial Chapel, the Natural History Museum, and the Austrian National Library and the Spanish Writing School. Number 2. Medieval Borg Hostovitz on a crag rising some 160 meters above the valley, sprawls the imposing Burg Hochhorstowitz, Austria's most important medieval castle. Hochhorstowitz was first mentioned in 860 AD. Later on, it was captured by the Kavenbüchlers and was enlarged in 1570 in the face of Turkish invaders. Never captured by a foe, the castle has remained in the Kevin Hüller family and became an outstanding example of a medieval fortress and stronghold. What makes this castle appear so strong is the well-suited position of the whole complex. The winding axis is blocked by 14 fortified gates and opens up at the armory yard in front of the main castle. This extremely clever construction made the castle impregnable as the enemy had to conquer gate by gate but was attacked from all sides at the same time. In the castle's courtyard, you will find a small chapel with beautiful frescoes and a Corinthian altar dated 1673. It also has a museum containing parts of the weapon left by Napoleon as well as arsenal of armory, helmets, spears, lances, and guns. The museum's walls are decorated with portraits of Kavenhüller and Sester and other historical paintings. And number one, Gulsglockner High Alpine Road. It is a magnificent mountain pass road and is one of the most important touristic landmarks in Austria. The Gulsglockner is a splendid highway through the Hohe Tower, the country's highest mountain massif. The route runs for 22 kilometers through the mountains at an altitude of more than 2,000 meters. It consists of a long succession of turns leading up to the summit tunnel on the Hochter of 2,506 meters and then down into the valley of the far side. This visual school of nature was consciously planned by civil engineer Franz Wallach in harmony with the high alpine landscape, the rocky environment, and meadows. When you reach the top of the Hoey Tower mountain range, this wonderful vantage point will offer you incredible vistas of the surrounding country. From down the road to the top, you will be left in awe and mesmerized by the spectacular scenery. Do you know some other wonders of Austria? Or do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.